Billy Wagner not getting elected is just a crime. Only four votes away, I believe. Deepaw, you said it. He is the greatest left-handed pitcher who has ever walked this planet. His stats are better than every reliever in the Hall of Fame besides Mariano Rivera. Best is- lefty pen. Best, best right, lefty reliever. 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 Right. Okay, correct. You said pitcher, so I just want to make sure that. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. Just, yeah, he okay. is the greatest I, I, left-handed reliever that has ever walked this planet, by far. I mean, when you talk about the story too of him breaking his arm and then learning how to throw, I mean, that's just a cherry on top of all this. But I mean, you think it, you put him in with Fergie Jenkins, Trevor Hoffman, Goose Gossage. His numbers are better than all of them. Like, I don't understand why it's such a debate to put him in. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And I, it I hate makes no sense. I hate the topic of these guys waiting, like, let's wait till their 10th year and then let them, like, what's the difference? I don't understand, like, what, it's, I don't, I don't like that I'm getting mad, but, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. The the question is, check the box, yes or no, are they a Hall of Famer? That decision should not change over 10 years. Correct. It should be the same from year one, just because it's like, oh, he's a 10th year Hall of Famer. That's not a thing. I mean, I mean, I get maybe like a year or two. You're maybe you're on the fence, and you know, yeah. you you, you research it. Maybe maybe somebody else gets in that kind of you you compared to, or uh, maybe thought the person was better. Some there's something, but over ten years is ridiculous. Yes, I mean Larry yeah. Walker, Scott Rowland. I mean, what I mean, what are we doing? Like these guys, like it just should have been like their third or fourth year. I get it. Sometimes it's an, a crowded ballot, and that affects it. But ten years. Yeah, Jedi, you know, you kind of bring up a good point. I, I've never thought about it from that perspective. It's it's a clear cut and dry question. Correct. Yep. Is he a Are Hall they of Famer? Yes, yes or, yeah, yep, yes or no? It. So if the answer is no today, why would it be yes in 10 years? So I, I've never looked at it from that perspective. It's a great point now, by Jedi. In the Billy Wagner case, I don't know how he's not elected right then and there that first year. Like his his numbers are stupid for a lefty. You'd have to pen. pull up. You'd have to pull up the ballot too, because like I it, maybe it was a stacked ballot that year. But it is ridiculous when you look at his career numbers that how you're not voting for him, even if there are other, even if there is, a, uh, it is a stacked ballot. So let's say the writers didn't have ten votes. Let's just say they had unlimited votes. Does he get in? Like you know what I'm saying? Like no, because there's so many voters that I saw this past year. That I have my reasonings why I think that really the the way the voting structure is really needs to be changed because there were two people, I believe, that voted for Mark Burley but didn't vote for Billy Wagner. I just think that's idiotic. Mark Burley is not a Hall of Famer. No. And I and, and then you don't vote for Billy Wagner. I wouldn't ha- I wouldn't be saying this if you voted for Billy Wagner and Mark Burley, because I'd be like, okay, you must have your reasonings for Burley, but you don't right. vote for him. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I mean, the only question I would have for those guys are like, are are you valuing a starting pitcher over a, a reliever more? And to me, that's just an idiotic, yeah, type of thinking. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yes, if you're if you're going off just that alone, yeah, that's absolutely preposterous. Yeah, but as for the Joe Maurer thing, I think the only reason why I don't think he's a, a first ballot Hall of Famer, which is kind of a, against my my ideology most of the time in baseball, is just like the power numbers weren't there. The last thing that I did want to say, though, on Billy Wagner, that that situation is I I think that there's a little bit more credit deserved on his part that he doesn't get because it goes unnoticed how much he changed the game. He was one of the first guys that threw triple digits, especially from the left side. Yes, Randy Johnson yep. was there, but coming out of the closer role with just a dude that had also just like a funky delivery too, with that weird whippy arm like no one really saw that sort of stuff. And I just think that that goes unnoticed to where the game is today, where throwing a hundred miles an hour is just like a normal thing now. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy to think about that, by the way. Yeah. Like but, the first time we saw a hundred, we were like, holy shit. Yeah. Now you see like 91. You're like, this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs>